Hello everyone, Gareth the Master 974 back again today doing a hammer tutorial this time around how to get started with portal with RTX mapping. Now I'm doing this because this is my situation and my situation may be different to yours. So it'd be nice to know if this is the same for you as it is for me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. But um, this is a situation where I've got portal installed on my main drive but portal with RTX on a different drive. So if I just delve into Portal RTX and the bin folder, then you can see stuff like Hammer DLL, .dll here, and VRAD DLL and VVIS DLL. But you don't get the applications, all you get are the DLL files. So if I try to load up something like Hammer++ in Portal with RTX, then it fails trying to load GameInfo.txt. It says it's missing when it isn't. And I believe it's because the Steam app ID is invalid. It doesn't recognize Portal RTX as a valid game for Hammer++ to launch. And then you get a crash dump file as well, which is not good. But what you can do is go to, you know, Portal. So, you know, wherever your Steam application is installed, Steam apps common, Portal, and likewise Steam apps common, Portal RTX. Those are the directories I'm dealing with. So in this case, go to Portal bin. And we can go into Hammer++ for Portal, load into Portal, a gigantic Hammer++ logo right there. And we can load up a map. For example, I'm just going to load up Still Alive number 5. Um, because I did a tutorial recently about adding the electric field from Portal Still Alive into, well, Portal 1. And it also seems to work perfectly fine in Portal with RTX. Now you do have to realize that Portal Still Alive has some custom assets like the guy getting electrocuted, the block field texture for the hard light bridge, and also the test chamber signs uh, for Portal Still Alive. Those are going to be assets you need to port over. But everything else has some sort of Portal with RTX equivalent. Maybe not this concrete texture. I don't think this is in Portal with RTX. I think it's the other kinds of concrete textures that you have to use instead. So I might overlay footage right now of Portal with RTX just to show you the map in question. Just to say that you can compile the map from Portal 1 and then copy and paste the map from Portal 1 into Portal with RTX. And Portal with RTX just does all the work. It has all of the textures converted, models converted outside of custom assets that you copy and paste over. So that is pretty much the situation. I mean, if you want me to get into more detail, then unfortunately it seems as if we need to use RTX Remix. And if we look into here where it says learn more, it says notify me, which to me indicates that it isn't actually available yet. So yeah, as it says, sign up to be notified of RTX Remix availability. So it's not available yet. So until that's available, I can't really tell you how to make portal with RTX assets like materials or models or importing upgrading assets for portal with RTX because we need to use RTX Remix and that's not available yet. So all we can really do is copy and paste assets from portal into portal with RTX. So for example, I mentioned the still alive test chamber signs and you need to get the portal still alive mod for PC, obviously first and foremost, but that would go into portal RTX, portal RTX, then models, props, anim signs still alive for all of the test chamber signs. And then you need the materials, models, props, anim signs still alive as well. So that gets the models into portal with RTX properly obviously not upgraded to work with Portal with RTX as you may have seen from the video footage that I would have shown. Also to note everyone, when you try custom maps and custom assets that aren't typically used in Portal RTX, you may end up with something like this happening. Now obviously this is supposed to be a decal texture, but it looks obviously way worse. So what you can do is press Alt X to load up the RTX Remix menu. And under developer settings, you can see all sorts of tabs along the side. Um, typically, you know, it's UI, skybox textures, particles, decals, or water. And I think most of the time, you're not gonna have to deal with this. But in this case, we know this is a decal, so we can just go decal textures, 
and it looks like it's every single material in the scene that you can end up you know modifying on the fly and so all you have to do is navigate up to where you see this uh, texture it might be black like so but if you hover over it you can see that it's this one and if you select it then it becomes a decal as it's supposed to so that's just something else to consider when you launch into portal with rtx some of these materials may not be defined properly and be sure to save settings as well because that is uh, something that you need to keep in mind and so that's pretty much all i need to say you can use the portal one hammer editor to make levels for portal with rtx just note that not all of the materials from portal and technically half-life 2 haven't been upgraded for portal with rtx so you may need to change some materials around for now but that's pretty much all i need to say so yeah use portal one's hammer editor for portal with ray tracing mapping and just copy and paste over so let me know what you think about that and hopefully i'll see you for another video so take care out there everyone and see you later